Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and CherryAnnRichardson.com. <sighs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, that's what tends to happen when I uh, get out of work. Um, so, it's official. I accepted a job offer in small parts uh, as a picker packer. Um, it's kind of a, a floater position, I think, in some ways, um, the way it's set up now. Um, for the most part, I'll be um, using a headset, being told what parts to pull uh, from what slots and that type of thing, and I put them into, you know, the, the boxes that they need to go in. Um, but sometimes I'll be... Um, moving to other locations, you know, other spots to help when help is needed. Um, so I'll basically be learn, you know, hopefully I'll be learning uh, most of the jobs in small parts, um, getting cross trained so I can, you know, work wherever is needed um, because that's, that's really the best way um, to, ha to, to work that job. Um, she was saying today that you know they've got a couple people that know two or three different positions um, and it's really helpful but really they should try and get everybody uh, trained in at least three different positions um, and I'm willing to, to learn any and all of it um, basically you can look at it as knowledge is power um, the more knowledge I have of the department, um, the more I can do, the more useful I am, um, and the more likely um, that I can try to, you know, move up. Uh, I can try for a lead position. You know, if I know all the jobs uh, and the lead position comes open, hey, you know, I know them all. I can do them all. Um, you know, I can show. Uh, you know, I can I can teach people how to do them. Um, so it's, it's just kind of a natural thing. Um, so now it's just a matter of how long it takes them to let me out of salvage. Uh, I am hoping that it does not take very long. Um, it would be nice if nothing else, if they would let me, um, start next week after Labor Day. Probably won't happen that soon, but um, you know I'm kind of hopeful that maybe it can be expedited and I can get back there and start working um, because I believe I'm not sure whether it's actually uh, next week that she's leaving or whether it's the week after. But the woman who runs the forklift back in small parts um, is going in for surgery. So she's going to be gone, and since I already have my uh, forklift certification, uh, I could go back there and cover her position and work for her um, while she's out, um, which would be nice because if I would do that, um, it's a uh, pay bump. So. And that's ultimately kind of what I'm wanting is to be able to go back there as the uh, forklift operator, um, you know, slash floater, basically. Um, so, but we'll see. Um, fingers crossed that I can, you know, leave pretty soon. Um, now tomorrow uh, we have a doctor's appointment in Muncie. Um, we are going to see the first uh, back specialist and find out what uh, his suggestions and options uh, for surgery are. Um, and then we have to meet with the nursing home tomorrow as well, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, and then uh, we've got, I think it's about a week and a half, 
and we will go to Fort Wayne to see the other back specialist uh, to get a second opinion and to find out what um, what he has to say um, what the options might be um, so it's gonna be crazy busy tomorrow um, but I've gotten it approved on FMLA so um, I just have to call in tomorrow actually I'll probably call in later tonight and let them know that I'm not gonna be in tomorrow um, which is gonna upset a few people but oh well um, so we'll see what happens um, so I think that's gonna do it for today so please subscribe uh, give us thumbs up thumbs down comments below we will see you again tomorrow and have a great evening